Hi, it's Kit with SVJader. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple stroke path animation. This download icon that I've created and animated to draw itself. To use stroke path animators, make sure you have visible stroke paths. In this case, the sample I've created is made entirely of lines. There are no elements with fill color. So let's start animating this first line of the arrow. Go to Animators and choose Stroke Offset and Stroke Dashes as well. You can also use the short keys indicated in this list as well. The first keyframes are automatically added at the current position in the timeline. We now need to set the values for these two keyframes. So we go to the Stroke panel and we'll need to use the path length of our element. We'll need this value for the offset and also for the dashes. You can quickly add the length value to the offset input by clicking on the Set as Offset button. The value is added in the offset input. Easy. And we will copy it in the dashes input as well. Drag the playhead to half a second. Then go back to the offset input and set it back to zero. Now let's jump back to zero and hit play for a quick preview. Okay. The line is drawing itself from the bottom to the top but I actually want it to happen the other way around. I want the line to start from the top and go to the bottom. The quick and easy way to do that is to switch the position of the starting point with the position of the end point. We need to select the node tool so we can work with the points of the line. Now drag the starting point up and the end point down and snap it to the arrow. And adjust the position for the starting point to be centered and perfectly vertical. All right, let's check the animation again. Now I have the result I'm looking for. I want the left and right lines of the arrow to animate the same way. And I want them to start from 4 tenths of a second right before the top line completes itself. So I'm going to select the left line of the arrow and add stroke dashes and stroke offset. Go to the stroke properties and set the length as offset and also copy it into the dashes input. Drag the playhead to 0.9 seconds and set the offset back to zero. You can also preview the animation by dragging the playhead on the timeline. And as always, hold shift while dragging to have a smoother preview. I like this line to animate from the inside out, so I'm not going to switch the starting point with the end point like I did previously. Now I need to do the same thing with the right line. I'm going to select it, and press Shift F and Shift D to add the offset and dashes animators. Click and hold Command for Mac or Control for Windows to select the two animators from the left line. And copy and paste them to the right line starting from the 0.4 second mark. We can see that the animation is symmetrical, and that's because both lines are equal, you know, they have the same path length. If we were to paste this animation to another element with a different length, the result wouldn't be the same. Let's continue with the bottom line. Shift F and Shift D. Set length as offset and copy the length to the dashes. I want this line to animate a little faster, so I'll set a shorter distance to the second keyframe. 0.8 seconds will be fine. And I'll set the offset back to zero. And let's preview it. Actually, I think that's a bit too fast. So let me increase the distance just a little. Much better. Okay, we're almost done. We only have to animate the last element, the circle. So select the circle, add the path animators, and repeat the process as usual to get the self-draw animation. Set the length for offset and dashes, and let's sync the duration with the end of the previous animations, 0.9 seconds. Set the offset back to zero. And let's check the animation. It feels like something is missing with the circle path animation, so I'm going to add one last detail. Select the transform tool and bring the origin to the center of the circle. It might snap to other elements that aren't visible at this moment, so use this option to make sure it goes right into the center. Now hold down shift before clicking the rotate control and rotate it 180 degrees. You can also check the degrees here in the rotation input. And let's add the rotate animator. 
For that, I'm going to use Shift R. Drag the playhead to 0.9 seconds. And clockwise rotate another 180 degrees. Make sure you hold Shift before clicking. You can see in the inputs that we now have one turn. That means a complete rotation of 360 degrees. Let's preview the final animation using the preview option up here. That looks great. And that is how you create a self-drawing animation for stroke paths. SVJader makes it easy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.